Hello friends, in the previous video, we write a hook to override Stutz action. So in this video, we try to write our own custom action. So for this, first I create a class. So now I just need to override a method execute which contain these parameters. So here I simply write SOP. So here I set a attribute. Now I need to return the path of my JSP. So if you can get the path like if I open my struts config.xml. So you can see there are many actions. So like this portal update term of use. So these are the JSPs inside our Tomcat, web apps, root, HTML, and portal. So, like uh, the JSP is so, like this is term of use inside our HTML portal, and this is the path. So, I just copy this for now. And write my JSP name like message so so now i need to provide the entry in library hook.xml The path is like portal dot message. So now last thing I need to create a message dot JSP inside this. We're inside this. So we already know we can write a JSP hook. So let's write a JSP hook and it automatically create a JSP inside this folder. So for JSP, right click new custom JSP and here we can create on add. So our JSP name is like message.jsp but I need to create this in this same directory structure html portal so i just append the path like this and click on ok and click on finish so now look this structure is now same custom jsp html portal 
so HTML portal. Now here I can write my message like It give me an error. So open this. So it leave the entry in this. So just cut this and paste on the top of these. So let's deploy this. So now our hook is deployed. So you can see your file inside this and look hi welcome to this so for JSP script now let me check the output and look our JSP is this and output is this like this action call so these two statements are because of the other let me clean this and hit one more time and look so we successfully add our start section so if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching